Welcome back to White Shoulders Boar Goats. We had a little bit of a snowstorm. But the babies could have cared less. They were having them a good old time inside. These two didn't know what to think of the camera. Neither did one of the cats that ran in. Now Hilda, she's a good sport. She was entertaining the two oldest of babies. Boy, that was a lot of snow to walk through. Looks like a beautiful sunshiny day today, and it is, but it's still a little crisp out. The driveway has begun to melt. Uh, good thing that I got it bladed off yesterday. Um, it helps out a whole lot getting it dry. It's a little tight in this pen. I use the truck to move the bale. Then I use the tractor to tip the bale up on end. Thank you. 
then I take the net wrap off. which you can tell it's fun sometimes, especially when it has snow and it's frozen. to go and get the hay ring to set back down on top of the bale so they can't tear it up so much. have a new baby calf and the goats wanted to see the little fella it's a little bull so this bunch is waiting patiently for me to open the gate which I'm not going to do right away because I don't want one of those mama cows to get me um, that's the new little calf he's only 25 30 pounds uh, that is not his mother his mother is the darker gray one um, and those little goats are just under a month old, so that should tell you how small that he really is. Um, he's really cute to look at, but you don't want to touch him. The little red cow should be having her calf here before long, and I'll share that too.
Here's Ellie's first little doe kid. She weighed 8.8 .8 pounds. I had to go in after her. She was coming uh, breech and hawks first. Uh, I was able to get her feet up and I just pulled her out backwards. And I set her up in this little position here so that we could get some of the fluid out of her lungs. She was very lively and moving around really good when she was born and I actually ended up having to put her in a barrel uh, because she wouldn't quit going out the door. Ellie was bred to Hercules. So these are half boar, half alpine kids. As Ellie's second kid was coming, I noticed that its tongue was purple and it was coming head first and there was just a little toe sticking out there. So that meant that it was being really hard to be born. So I went ahead and assisted her. I don't always assist them but when I feel that it's uh, an emergency, I will. Uh, this baby was, she had a lot of fluid in her lungs. Um, I set her up in this prone position to help get some of the fluid out. And she weighed 10.8 pounds, so she was a pretty good sized girl. And she is very lively and doing just fine. She's tired. I don't know if she's got another one or not. Her kids kept running away, so I put them in a bucket. Ellie and her twin daughters are doing just fine. Uh, the babies have gotten their milk and they're just uh, wagging their tails. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends.